Hello, Riverwood. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. In the first few verses of Philippians, Paul talks about how thankful he is for these Christians and how much he longs for them and how he remembers them in his prayers. As we move into verse 9, he gives a more specific focus to those prayers. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. We could spend hours and hours in these verses because there's so much richness and depth here. But notice the first thing that Paul says. He prays that their love may abound more and more. He's already mentioned how much they mean to him and how much they have helped him in the gospel. So it would seem that they have already shown a tremendous amount of love. Yet he still prays that their love would abound more and more. Love is a central theme throughout Scripture. Of course, one of the main purposes of Scripture is to reveal God's love for us, especially in the gift of Christ. John tells us that God is love. Paul, guided by the Spirit, starts the list of the fruit of the Spirit with love. Peter puts love as the culmination of his list of Christian characteristics. And 1 Corinthians 13 tells us how essential love is to everything that we do. In a world that is so lacking in love, let's reflect our Heavenly Father by abounding in love. Let's try to outdo each other in love. Let's love in a way that all those around us will see that love. And let's love in a way that glorifies God so that the world gives praise to him and seeks to follow him. I pray that your day is full of blessings.